Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about whatever we want and we have to hear back. Hey, hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, it's good to be back. Huh? Steve's favorite. Yes, yes. I, mean, I hate that Steve's not here. That's my ball, man. <laughs> I like, I like no one cares about Steve because they care about the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our sponsor, Native Deodorant. Native creates simple, safe, effective products that people use in their bathroom every day. Native Deodorant is formulated without aluminum, parabens, and talc. Ooh. And uses ingredients found in nature such as coconut oil, shea butter, and tapioca starch. And Native is never, ever tested on animals. That's okay. the best part about it. Making the switch to aluminum-free deodorant does not mean having to sacrifice on product performance. Native has over 9,000 five-star reviews. It comes in a variety of scents for men and women such as coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, and cucumber and mint. They also have an unscented formula and a baking soda-free formula for those with sensitivities. For 20% off your first purchase, visit nativedeodorant.com and use promo code OTR during checkout, baby. Yes. And there's no risk to try. Native offers free shipping as well as returns and exchanges in the US of A. Again, for 20% off your first purchase, visit nativedeodorant.com and use promo code OTR during checkout. Thank you, Native. It smells really good. That's cool, man. I like deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so um, <laughs> I do. I do like the. Uh, <laughs> what do you like about it? I mean, it just keeps me from stinking. I actually need to probably try to do something like this because um, I had got these. I get these lumps under my arms, like my my lip nose gets yeah. swollen. Yeah. And usually it's like it's just a little ball, and then like recently. It got, it got really swollen. It was like very tender, to like put my arm down, and then it actually burst. And I was like, I don't know what the hell. It like when I saw the inside, I just, I just had that too. Yeah, like, like a I, week ago. Just, yeah, I took pictures of it. it. Like it was like a cyst almost. So yeah. like it was pus coming out and shit like wow. that. I had oh, to put it burst better. on the outside. Yeah, it burst on the outside. So it like came, it broke the skin. Oh. And I was like, yeah. sorry, I did some research, and it was like because I'm probably using like it could be from aluminum and the the other one that oh. I was using. Do you have? Uh, do you get ingrown hairs? I do, but like not here. Like usually, oh, like um, on this region, true. and like sometimes in the back, and then across the neck. That's a trip, man. A week ago, I had a swollen ass <laughs> uh, lymph node too on my yeah. armpit, yeah. and I let I looked it up, and then I was like, it could be cancer. Yeah, or, it always comes back to cancer. Oh, it could be cancer. Pretty sure WebMD is sponsored by cancer. I know. I know. Like cancer is a person. They're like, yeah, this is ours. We've so like cancer all. research places. Yeah, they, they could keep getting money. They for just, it for always cancer. comes back to cancer. You like, like, I got a cough. Yeah. Must be cancer, yeah. you know? Pretty sure I got chlamydia. You yeah. go far enough, you're like, yeah, chlamydia is caused by cancer. You're like, <laughs> fuck, man, I cannot get away from this shit. Fuck you, Big C. Untreated chlamydia can turn into cancer, though. Yeah. That's no shit. Really? Yeah, it's real. If untreated <laughs> chlamydia. Back to you. Yeah. I didn't know that. For Everything. Real. That's crazy. But yeah, I had that shit, too. And I was yeah. like looking it up, like, what the fuck? Do I have cancer or whatever? Uh, but Did it's like. burst, too? No. That was the first time I burst. Usually they come swell and then they go down, yeah. like in a couple of days. But this was the first time like it kept. I don't know if because I was active and you know I've been working out more and I just kept the, the friction on it and it burst. But that shit was painful, bro. Right after you get sick or right when you're about to get sick mm -hmm. and your body's fighting off a virus or bacteria, it could flush out all of that stuff in that lymph. Through node. there. Yeah. So everything that popped out was all the stuff that the bacteria. I don't know about the popping out. That might just be friction. <laughs> <laughs> Committee and cancer just came <laughs> out there right there. Hey, if that's how it worked, fuck yeah, I'll take yeah, it any I'll day. Take it any day. You know what I'm talking about? Damn, so how have you been? What's I've been good, man. Uh, I have been saving this, this like a hearty, hearty fuck you to Bart because I've never got what? an invite to the gym. I see you posting pictures of the gym. Oh, the gym's finally open. I'm running and all of this shit. I've been working out a 24-hour fitness, sharing a green. I didn't even know you worked uh, out. Oh, you, now you didn't know? <laughs> yeah. Now, I've been proud of myself for this whole year, losing 38 pounds, and now you didn't work out? You were, you lost 30. Congratulations. Have you no, fuck you, page? Bart, man. Nah, man. This is all this is all fluff for you, man. Remember him you and Doughboy here? had a, like, a competition yeah. to lose weight? I've seen all the way Doughboy's been losing. <laughs> You're just adding more salt to the wound. <laughs> Doughboy has been posting a nah, shit ton Doughboy, though. Doughboy has lost a ton of weight. I'm very proud of that. Yeah. Social media too that he's posting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're welcome anytime. Are you ever in downtown LA? Well, he says he wants an invite. 
like, let's go next Tuesday yes. type of invite? Yes. Oh, dude, I mean, you know, you guys should do a workout video oh, together. That'd be cool. I don't know about <laughs> that. Like, let's not go crazy. Video? Yeah, because it's that. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm still, I mean, like, I'll come work out, but, like, the video, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh, oh, this you, came, you know how confident you have to be to walk somewhere in your underwear? Just your underwear, not boxers. Or delusional. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's confidence. Or delusional. <laughs> either way, either way, I'm not there. Like, I'm not on that end of the spectrum. I'm, I'm closer more to the center. He so. did that when he was fat, too. Oh, really? He, did. <laughs> he doesn't, it's not, a, yeah, he's not, he, I don't Why think he was fat. I got oh, yeah. fat on purpose one time. Yeah. Oh, it was for a roll or something? The fuck did you get? Strength. I was just trying to get as strong as I can, so I was just pounding food. Kind of uh, like strong man. <laughs> Were you doing like a keto or you just pounding any type of food? Uh, <laughs> McDonald's, though. Really? <laughs> so you didn't give a shit about your life? No. I this was, had to be before the baby because I know, like, if he was doing this shit after the baby, you're like, Yo, we got a baby now. You can't be doing this type of crazy shit. No, you gotta I, be around. I gained like 50 pounds in like three months. Really? Yeah, it was tight. Damn. That's dope. It's like man. you were pregnant. Right. <laughs> yeah. Were you eating and going right to sleep too, like on fat shit like that? No, but every meal was like three thousand pounds. <laughs> no. Fuck. And this one couldn't tie his shoes. Uh, right. I had you too much gut to tie, tie my shoes. shoes. Yeah. And after I tied one, I needed to take a break before the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. Fuck, I'm getting That's out of shit. I was when I started losing weight. I was like, I had to hold my breath to tie my shoe. Like, when, you, when you're fat, you have to figure out like the best way to tie your shoe is not like bending over like this. You have to squat, yeah. squat down because yeah. you bend over you, your stomach, you can't breathe, man. I know, I know all the fat guy tricks. Yeah. Putting on socks, stand up. Put the sock right here. <laughs> Cause like trying to bend down to do it, oh fucking, I would die, bro. I can't bend over and do it cause I can't breathe. So, so I have to like stand you up. you've been pregnant then. Huh? I know, I've been, cause I've been husky all my life. It's like some fucking six year old shit. I know man, I had to stand against the wall. <laughs> so I had to keep my balance and just throw that leg back and just wheel it on Burn up. Yeah, Fat people, tricks man, I know how to make that shit work. <laughs> Yeah. I'm about that life though. That's cute as fuck. When I'm, um, you know, trying to lose weight so I can just wear shit from Zara. Like that's all my, that's all I want to do. Like Zara nobody, is can, so nobody small. can wear shit from Zara. I know. That's all I want. I just want to. I barely fit in Zara. <laughs> fuck out of here. I don't want Tim. Tim shit. says he's a large in Zara. Who said that? <laughs> Tim. Yeah. He's like five three. Yeah, right. That's what he said. He's. I don't believe that oh, shit. Yeah, like no. offend Zara, dude. You, 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 you wear Zara. I have one. I had one vest from Zara. But you wear a vest from Zara? Oh, this no, motherfucker like fit. <laughs> it was a jean vest. Oh uh, yeah. Like double XL. Uh, it was like a large or X large. Yeah, it was like big. Okay. Cause I, was, I know like, it's a I European. Like, yeah, but I was I was actually ten pounds lighter when I was wearing it too. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Did you say it made you feel buff? Yeah. What yeah, the I fuck? That. That's it, amazing. The motherfucker was like a, a tank top on him. A tank top with buttons. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was. You know who's big as hell? Norwegians. Oh yeah. And Norwegian is like the, the the average height for females are is like between five nine and five eleven. Yeah, the du the Dutch yeah. and Scandinavian oh my people. God, my people. Yeah. You ever been to Amsterdam? I have. I just went a couple months ago. Like when you get off the uh, <laughs> the train or the plane, mm -hmm. and you just see the mannequins at like their Foot Locker, you're yeah. like. Why the fuck does everyone look like a linebacker? But yeah, it's just it's big. The average height is like six two or something. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Scandinavians too. Yeah, they hella big. They hella big. I ain't got nothing to follow up with that. I just, <laughs> just wish I was Scandinavian. I keep looking you know, they, at they your work. shirt and I keep thinking this is like the Rose Rose, the Rose Parade. Parade. Pasadena Rose Parade. Yeah. My, my old lady and my daughter both to say when I was getting dressed, they was like, "Oh, you wearing your Rose Bar Rose Bowl shirt?" I was Rose like, "It's Bowl not." Shirt. This is my homeboy's clothing line. I like the shirt. You know what I'm saying? So that I was like, like velvet. It is. Oh, it's cool. nice. You know what I'm saying? It just so, looks like the Rose Parade. Yeah, it looks like you volunteered to make yeah. the. the <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's proud. He's a proud volunteer. How many floats did you work on? Three. <laughs> Kiss my ass. You guys ever go to the Rose Parade? My, oh. yeah. my family does. I don't go. I'm not a big parade guy. Anxiety kicks in hard. Why all the people there? Yeah, like I got it. I like I've never like been like that before. I've always been able to do crowds for the most part, but like as of late, like big crowds just freak me out. I was at the. Then how do you show. do stand up? Yeah. Because I, I get to I leave. I get to get off the stage. Oh. I go right back to the green room and I drink. But like I don't really sit in the crowd like that. So I'll never crowd surf and no shit like that. I don't go to concerts unless I'm a, like I have a section. Like I don't do the whole standing in the the, the crowd type thing. It's I like just, concerts with seats now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So relax. Relaxed. Especially rap concerts, because they be like, it's like doors open at eight, and the first motherfucker go on stage at like 11.30. You're like, yeah. I've been standing this whole goddamn town, yeah. and I'm drunk now. I need yeah. to sit down. Yeah. Okay. I hate, I hate, I hate concerts at this point. I'm an old man. 
You sound like an old man. I like it though. I worked hard to get it. <laughs> right. I'm at that age now where I don't feel bad when people get in the car and the Isley Brothers are playing. I'm like, why the fuck you listen to this bitch? Cause I'm old, okay? And I, I like it. I like Isley Brothers too. Yeah. I've seen I like some it shit. When I was in high school. <laughs> yeah, I liked it then too, but like, you know, your friends get in the car, you're like, oh, let me put on the baby real oh, quick. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love oh, the baby. These new guys are. I know, I know the baby. I like the baby. Cause there's a, a rapper that recently passed away and yeah. All, all the people at the gym. Yeah, like, I just were invited to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were all sad about it, and then I was like, I don't even know who this guy. Is. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't familiar with his music. Either. I think my daughter knew some of his songs, but I wasn't familiar. I, I found who I like, and I ride with him. Like I like the baby. Right, he gets me hype. You know what I'm saying? Got little dances. He makes me want to commit armed robbery. I won't do it because I can't go to jail because I'm thick. But I, I would think. <laughs> what do they? What do they want for thick boys for? Bears. To fuck. Come bears, dude. Yeah. Bear, I always felt like Bear was the one that's over the other guy. Yeah, nah, they would make bear? me a little spoon too. Oh. Yeah. A bigger bear could one. come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, man. I gotta lose these childbearing hips before I ever think about going to jail. So I'm gonna always be on the right side of the law. <laughs> All them childbearing hips. I got childbearing hips, man. I got some big thighs. There's a lot of heat coming up this undercarriage, is what I'm saying. They're gonna get too horny when they see it. <laughs> I walk in in orange. I look amazing in orange, too. I walk in in the orange and chain them. Like, hey, Red Bone. I'm like, fam, don't call me Red Bone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the thing you can do with a grown man is call him red ball. It's like, nah, don't do that. Friend. That's a term for light skinned black people? Light skinned chicks. Oh, light skinned chicks? So, yeah. Uh, you to a big bear. Like, it's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Where did so, it come from? Uh, I don't know, South? Midwest? Like, it's red bone? Red bone. Because, like, like, you have red hair, so they call them red, red bone, something like that when they light skinned, red hair. Hmm. Like, hey, red. Hey, what up, red? Thick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Catcalls can be mad disrespectful. Have you ever been catcalled yeah. while you're teaching in jail? No, I wasn't, but I've seen people get catcalled cat -called in jail. Like when I was, I'm literally teaching in class, and then one of the guys that I guess gets a lot of attention walked by, and then uh, one of the guys is in class, he's looking at me, looking at me, hey boy, I'm telling that ass up later though. Oh, no. And I just was like, Huh. All right, listen, this this is what we're not going to do. All right, we're not going to disrupt the class <laughs> <laughs> for passes of guys walking around with two extra milk cartons. It's just not going to happen. If you ask him, uh -huh. are you gay? Is he like, fuck no. I wouldn't ask. It's, some yeah, shit I don't it's need a know. dangerous it's question. It's some shit I don't need to know. You know what I mean? Like, like I, that's just it. Like, if I met God, I wouldn't want to know what the purpose of life is. He'd be like, just for my amusement. My heart would crumble, right? Yeah. So, some shit I ain't going to ask questions to that I don't want to know the answers. I'm not prepared to know that. Do they only have dudes come in there and talk to people? There's never no females ever come in? No, there were female teachers, too. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, they give you a long list of rules and regulations, do's and don'ts, and that type of stuff. Like, certain things, like, if they complimented my shoes the way you did, I would have to tell one of the COs, and they would probably put them in the brick for that, or they would put them in a uh, solitary. For that. Well, for what? Wait, because two different things. is there like a mark on your shoe or something like that? Uh, well, solitary is all by itself. I don't know if the brick something else. I, I don't know. I just said I heard it on somebody else say it, and I said it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded, it sounded so like some crazy so shit. Call me on that shit. Uh, but you, <laughs> you have to tell because like a compliment can lead to uh, a favor. So like say, hey man, you, you sharp today, man. I see what you're doing. Where you get them from? Okay, cool. And they try to build up the relationship, and then eventually they be like, man, I'll, I'll do this for you. Don't worry about it. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Appreciate. It. And then they'll come back a week later. Hey, remember when I did that for you? Now I need you to do something for me. And now you caught up in a quid pro quo. And now you got to suck dick. So. <laughs> Damn. Typically, it doesn't get that extreme, but I mean, you see what I'm saying? It could. It probably is. It's, a, it's a slippery slope. I gotta get a sandwich from the outside, yeah. and then it turns into something else. <laughs> no, nah, I know this one chick. She uh, got caught up in some shit, and the dude had him. Dude had her taking her, taking his daughter to go shopping and shit like that. Like it was a whole like scandal. Like wow. the shit was in the news and all that type of shit. The motherfuckers are smart. They are they are professionals at at conniving and conning uh, motherfuckers. Conning motherfuckers, like for real. Like having you spend all your money, put your money on the green dot, give it to them. I remember when I first started working there, this one chick uh, had two 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 guys on her. One was like on her breast, the other dude was finger banging her. And like in the classroom, like she just didn't give a fuck. And this is Wait, the teacher? The teacher, she was engaged. She had a master's from UCLA, like all of this shit. She risked it all for these niggas who, who faced it 10 years. So Two you, inmates. They had an inmate orgy in there. Yes. And how did you willingly? Walk, how did you walk into that shit? It's fucking crazy. I didn't walk into it. I just heard it. Like oh, they, they, this is one of the stories that they told me before, crazy. right, right when I started. And I was just like, they ain't got nothing. Like, what can you say 
to her, they were like, yeah, risk it all for me. And I ain't got shit going for myself. Well, there must be a lot of shit going on in her life. You're right, right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. she was she freshly was engaged. Yeah, she you got a master's. Yeah. That means you put in at least six years for this one focus. Yeah. And this is what you want to do for the rest of your life. And you just fucked it off for a quick finger bang. I know, but that's a lot of dick, though. It might be thick fingers, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, big fingers. Big, big I can see that. She was like, my husband doesn't have thick fingers like this. <laughs> oh, my God. My buddy, my buddy uh, worked at uh, uh, the court system, the uh, jail system, and he was saying, like, there was this hot-ass girl that kept coming by, and, off, like, she would try to build rapport with the cops, because she uh, she's actually, her dad is, like, Mexican mafia or something, mm -hmm. so he, she would come and visit. And then... Um, she would always try to talk to some of the cops and be like, oh, you guys, I have these extra tacos, you guys want some? Yeah. And then he'll be like, nah, it's cool. But he's like, damn, she was so fucking fine though. Always in a small dress and shit. And then one cop would take them, eat them, and then she'll keep bringing them back and be like, hey, I got some extra ones for my dad. Can you give these to him? And he'll be like, yeah, sure. He'll, he'll give them in there. to the dad. And then soon enough, that cop got caught because she would hide drugs in there. Mm. Yep, that's how, That's why, like, don't do it, man. The best way to do is just say no. I used to, I, it's, it's, a, it's a women's prison <clears throat> or jail in Linwood, and I only had to go there like a couple times. Actually, I went to Linwood once, and then there's one. There's a women's prison downtown. I, went, I taught there like three times. And like, I always wear cologne, I always dress a certain way, and you know, look well kept. As soon as I walked in, they were like, damn, I'm trying to let him get me pregnant. I was like, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and leave. I'm not doing this. He no turned more. around like, because I might do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only a man. You know what I mean? I'm only a man. They just walk around like, and they would do stuff like, little, little, as soon as I walk in the court, and they like, they got like three, like, there's a section right there, a section right here, a section right there. And like, because it's like, uh, like group sleeping and shit like that. So as soon as I walk in, one of them like really, <laughs> literally walk up to the glass and put a titty on the glass. Oh wow! I was just like, no, no, this is a case waiting to happen. I don't want no parts of this at all. So does that, that mean they just can't have males there? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a certain type of male, or because they after that they told me like, yeah, you probably shouldn't wear cologne in here. Just like wear the. It makes them too horny. Yeah. I, I bet. Know. I can wow. imagine. It was yeah. It was it's tiger blood. Fifty percent oh of the time it God. works all the time. So I was like. Yeah, because they put hormones in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Tiger blood is not a real thing, but. Dude. <laughs> I was just talking about tiger blood. Oh. <laughs> I um speaking of being catcalled by a guy, uh, I I almost got recruited by a gay pimp. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit for real? Yeah, I was at the toy district in downtown LA because I had this what? business where uh we would sell like airsoft guns and shit like that. So I had my sunglasses on, it was a hot ass fucking day. I'm carrying this shit, right? And this guy comes up and he's like, Man, I know a lot of fine men that would love a Latino boy like you. And they'll pay a good amount of money. And I was like, what the fuck? And I took off my glasses. I'm like, I'm not Mexican. And I walked away and I was like, fuck. <laughs> but I will see those guys. Then <laughs> you didn't address that point at all. I didn't even know what to say. I was like, I'm like, I'm not Mexican. Then I was like, fuck. <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> but I gotta say something. The fact that he walked up to his life. I know a lot. I was so shocked. I was so shocked, man. I don't know what to do. Yeah. That is pretty scary. I don't know, what do you do? Do you feel like he called you out a little bit? Like, oh shit, he saw something in you that you haven't found in yourself yet? <laughs> like, I'm that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> or did your butthole tighten? Man, I was scared, but I, I was like, at the same time, I'm like, I'm not a bitch, I gotta say something about this. Yeah. And it's just a reaction. Yeah. And instead of saying, fuck no, or whatever, I just went, I'm not Mexican. And I just fucking walked away like. <laughs> what if he challenged you? He goes, are you a bitch or are you down to suck dick? <laughs> Oh, fuck. That's a whole different story. I know, bitch. I'll suck all the dick in the world. <laughs> what if I said that? <laughs> I know, bitch. Give me that dick. <laughs> that kind of contradicts itself, but I, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Man, it was one of those, like, reactions, though. So I can uh, see why, like, women are like, what the fuck? Don't cut, or don't cat, because they don't even know what to do. It just like, comes out of the blue sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Out of blue. That's First, why in Mexico, like, we have our rebuttals. So like if they go, oh, you remember? It's like a, it's like a rap battle. It is, yeah. yeah. So you already have your responses to the typical cat calls that they will say. Like for example, one of them, it's like, um, 
like, ooh, chiquitita, right? And then, like, meaning, like, oh, like, cute little girl or whatever. Mm. But, like, in a more, like, sexual way that they say mm. it. And then the rebuttal to that is, like, la tienes pendejo. Like, you have it really small. Uh, so, oh, like, you got a little dick. Uh, There's, like, it won't fit. It's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I would swallow you whole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they have rebuttals to your rebuttal? Uh, you sometimes. But I got the... I don't know, blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> blue chew. Got the blue chew for you. <laughs> just, give, just give me 45 minutes though. Give me 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do, but that's why, like, I don't, Mexicans are hella creative with their fucking, like, with their words, like, they're wordsmiths in Spanish. And I'm, al I'm always like, how do you even come up with that shit? They write it down too. Well, if she says this, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> My dick is small. Oh, yeah? Well, so are you. Perfect fit, girl. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do all day. They're like, they just have their headphones on and they're just like, mm -hmm. like they're riding rap. My dick is small, but so is your pussy. Instead of like so actually trying walls. to like get a girl and be romantic and they shit. They just fucking writing rebuttals all day. And then if you said that, I'll say this. That's funny. That's some girls shit. at home, well, if they ca can't call me saying this, I'm gonna say this. That makes sense. Yeah. First time I got hit on in LA, it was weird. I had reason just moved out here. And I was at a gas station, about to pay, there's two people in front of me and the guy walks in behind me. I was at the gas station, which is right on uh, Melrose and uh, Fairfax, that gas station right there, right? So I'm standing there and the guy walks in and he's like, mm, and I heard the um, but I was like, nope, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna address it. You said right. the guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. I would ignore it too if I heard that. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> kept going. Guy, one person leaves, and I was just me and then one person in front of me, and he's like, Listen, I don't mean to uh, bother you nothing. I tell her, well, you talking to me? I'm like, yes, I just want to let you know you're an attractive man. And I was like, <laughs> and specifically, I right, never man. Like that. I was like, that's so respectful. I was like, right, right. I was like, hey, man, listen, no disrespect. I ain't really, no, that ain't really my thing. I don't, I don't swing like that. He's like, oh, sweetheart, I'm not trying to fuck you, okay? <laughs> I was just letting you know that you're handsome. I was like, cool, I appreciate it. I turn back around, he's like, cause if I wanted to fuck you, you'd be fucked. And I was just like, I oh, shit, all the pearls. Do you hear me? I was like, hi, right? And I was just like, yo, that's so wild. So I pay for my gas, I go outside, and I was pumping my gas. I'm like, yo, that motherfucker really just tried to fuck me. I wouldn't even have pump gas there. I would've just drunk to somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but, then, but then I was like, but he really tried to fuck me. Yes! I just still got it. <laughs> But what he the did to you, was what he did to you was, you ain't even that fine anyway, bitch. Yeah, yeah that's what he did to you. He did, he put you back in your place, like, yeah. don't get it. He did, he did, he was like, nah, I've seen thicker. I was like, <laughs> <laughs>